when she's sitting, right away, the first things that stand out to me is the positions of her shoulders and her arms. When we are getting into a good desk position, we kind of want to be in a, in a place where we can be upright and back naturally, but that means that the keyboard is closer to us so that we don't have to chase it with our hands. When we're sitting, we want to be relatively close to in front of us. Now, the second thing that we want to do with Becky is bring her chair up just a little bit because her hands are having to go up to reach her desk. There we go. And so when our hands are now hanging, we can see this angle is just a little bit down from 90 degrees, which will allow her to relax her upper trap muscles because if we get our hands above our elbows, we naturally start to bring our shoulders into a shrug position as if you were watching right away, she was doing without probably even knowing it. The next thing that we want to do, and this is where this chair, we have to make some modifications to, her feet don't hit the floor easily in order to accommodate where her shoulders need to be and her keyboard and desk are. So in a situation like this, it is better to get something to rest your feet on, whether it is something as simple as a couple of textbooks or we get one of those nice little wedges that you can get off of an online retailer that just props your feet into a position that lets you be at a 90-90 with your legs. So essentially, when we're here, we're right in front of us. Everything that we work with is right in front of us. And then the second thing we wanna do is if Becky's vision is great, the, the screen might be a far enough distance away. But if she finds herself having to strain to see, she inevitably will start to do this. Now. The second, will you do that one more time? The second we start to search for the screen, we put a great deal of attention right at the base of the skull and you can uh, come out of it. If you are doing that, I can almost promise you you're gonna start developing headaches and neck pain. That then will lead to hands going to sleep on you at night, pins and needles in the arms and the fingers, and you're gonna start thinking you have carpal tunnel syndrome, you're gonna start thinking you got all sorts of things wrong, and it really comes back to the fact that when we go into that chin jut forward position, you compress a great deal of the structure in the neck and you fatigue the muscles that are key to your posture and your stability. And so right now, Becky is not in too terrible position. And the things that we want to do for her are bring that monitor forward so it's easier to see and she's not chasing it with her face. And the second thing is we want to give her feet something to sit on so that they can be more comfortable on the floor. If you have questions about your ergonomics or you're having difficulty with pain resulting from what you're doing, let us know. We'll help walk you through it.